what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk let me let me tell you guys about alcoholism drug use and driving these are three things although all separate can intersect into something very fatal you guys remember 90 days ago exactly today uh kim the comic was killed based on his friend being a drunk driver okay and it is um it's shaking my personal life so this story is going to hit home a little bit for me but you have a young lady african-american lady by the name of janae tanae jayana tanae webb now we know that's definitely an african-american name jayana and tanae okay but i want to talk about these circumstances about her because she was bragging on Twitter about being the best drunk driver in the world. Okay. Now, usually this is something that, that men typically do. All right. But she was doing 110 miles per hour in the 50 mile power zone. All right. Now in January, she said she's the best drunk driver ever in January, which means she's been doing this all along. Too bad. What she has done is not only her drinking and driving has uh, created a fatal crash that claimed the life of Pennsylvania state troopers, but also other people. Okay. Claiming the life of three innocent men. All right. Now, this is not something that's a black woman specific or a black person specific or a white person specific, but I want people to understand something about driving on the road. When you get your ass on the road, you're not only driving for you, you're driving for other people too. All right. And I, 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 I see crazy drivers, not only, um, you know, here and you got, but you know, just in, in different places where, People, are, you know, they, they're aggressive driving and things like that. But then when you put the alcohol where you can't, you don't have reflexes, you're speeding, you're doing stupid stuff. Let me just tell you something. You don't get to decide if somebody's family isn't going to come home that night. All because you want to be stupid and drink and drive. Okay. You don't, you don't get to dis discern that. You are not God. So many people around the world today want to play God. Not only with people's lives, but with your life. And not only for the people's lives that you may take, but also I want you to understand this. The people who have to live and bear with the fact that you've stolen somebody from their life because you're an idiot. And let me tell you guys something. Because I know that some of you guys that are listening to the sound of my voice, you drink and drive. You might not comment, but you don't think that nothing can happen. So you have a few drinks, you go to the bar, you have a few beers, you go to the bar. Let me tell you something. All it takes is for you to do that one time and your life is over. You go, you mess around and kill somebody. You get that felony on your record. You get that DUI. No insurance is going to touch you. Your life is over with. Okay. You do something that stupid. It's over with. And I want you to understand that people deserve the right to come home to their family. You're not God. And this lady right here was 21. You think this game, you're going to be, it's going to be a game when you're in a female prison and getting your ass whooped, maybe or punked for your stuff. Because see, everybody thinks it's funny until they got to go to prison. Then you start crying and shit. You know, guys do it all the time. You're so tough in the streets and stuff. You think that fat man ain't greasy? Okay, once you get to jail, you start crying again. Let me tell you guys something. You don't have any excuse. That's why they have Uber. They have Lyft. You want to go out and drink? All you need is two things. A battery and a possibly a battery charger and an Uber app. You don't, listen. You don't need to be out on the road. This is not like 15 years ago. Okay, so you're afraid that you're gonna get overcharged by a taxi? No problem. Go to Uber, 
have a credit card on file, you get drunk, you get in the back of the Uber, you pass out till you get home and you go out there and you sleep on the goddamn lawn. There you go. But to get out there on the road and endanger your life and other people's lives, you don't need to do that. Even when I'm in Poland, I have a, a driver, driver's license. I, I can drive in Poland. I'm so afraid to drive in, in Europe. I don't, cause I'm not even used to the layout of the land. And, and God forbid we talk about driving out here in Uganda where you are in South Africa or in Tanzania or Kenya, where it's a, you know, right side drive. Well, I don't even, I don't even fuck with it. I don't even take the risk. I'd rather walk. And that's me being sober because why? I don't want to risk the lives of somebody or myself because I don't even know the system. You know, we had a few um, Zimbabwean brothers and sisters that came um, into Poland in in in, in uh, my my uh, my ex city, and not only were um, they didn't understand the the you know driving on the left side, which is what we drive in America, left side driver, but they didn't know where they were going. They were getting in accidents left and right. Not only that, some of them were driving, speeding with alcohol. So you're gonna do tell years in Poland, and then you're gonna get deported. Like life is more important than that. And I'm gonna tell you like this, right? Guys, you gotta do a lot of defensive driving here, especially around the holiday season. Oh my God. People are happy to see the ugly ass family members. Oh, we gotta go out and drink. Oh, no, not me. Listen, I'm not even on the roads. So don't even play with y'all like that. No, you're not gonna kill me, okay? You wanna go out there and be a doofus? Be my guest. But one thing that you're not gonna do is ruin my life. You have every right to ruin yours on your own. But I'll tell people all the time, think about the society that you live in. Think about the people that love you. Some of you guys have kids. It's not worth it after a few shots of Hennessy to get behind the wheel. If you have a few shots of Hennessy, I don't care if you think, well, you know, I'm sober enough. Call the Uber, bro. Don't, don't risk it. Call the Uber. You know you're going to get home safe. Unless, of course, your Uber driver is drunk, which I'm pretty sure that may happen sometimes. Okay. Or you can walk home. All right. Or you can call somebody to come and get you there. You know, there's ways to have fun without you risking your life. Even if you take wine, don't do it. You have to you work too hard. And do you know you can throw your life away? All that you work for just by doing something stupid one time, even being around somebody who's a drunk driver. They can mess around and kill you because they're stupid. People are dumb sometimes, okay? And that happens amongst people of all ethnic groups, class of people. Listen, people want to speed and be aware of folks who want to have like, you know, those fast cars and drink and drive. Oh, th those, are, those are the ones. I don't even deal with them. I don't even deal with them. It's not worth it. I've worked too hard in my life to give it up, being around, getting shot at, or, 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 or getting a reckoning to somebody because they're stupid. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I already appreciate your follow that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first clip at the top. And as you know, the buffoonery reigns at an all-time high. I'm out.